The Easy Exposure Panel for Photoshop is an easy panel to use and it basically changes the exposure values within the image. You'll notice that I've chosen to use a value that is in stops because that's something that we're familiar with on a regular basis. I've chosen to allow us to change the value from a quarter of a stop all the way through the range to a full stop and we can do this either by darkening the image by choosing the darkening buttons or we can select the lighten buttons where we can actually lighten the image by the same amount of value. How it calculates the actual stop values, it's based on the overall average of the pixel values with inside the image. So it's examining the entire image, it's looking at the histogram, and then it's taking the average of that entire image, and then it's going to either reduce or increase the exposure by the amount that you choose. Underneath the exposure buttons, we've got two sliders. The first slider is the feather amount, and we'll come onto that in a moment, but that basically adjusts the amount of feathering if you've chosen a selection. The last slider in the panel is a layer opacity slider, and what this does, it changes the overall opacity of the active layer. So let's just come back to the feather amount slider. If we want to actually change the exposure value based on a selection, what we can actually do is make a selection as we're seeing here, choose the appropriate value, whether we want to lighten or darken that selection. But you'll notice that by default, we get a hard edge around the selection. If you look at this part of the image, we can see that this selection has been made, but it consists of a large hard edge. In order to actually feather this to make it more pleasing to the eye, we can use the mask slider or the feather slider to actually apply some feathering to the mask. And when we move the slider, we can see that the mask now has become more feathered and it's got a soft transition going from the center towards the edge. In the upper right hand corner of the plugin, we've got this small hamburger icon. If we select that, that opens up a flyout menu and from there we can actually go and choose to watch any videos that may be attached. These may be small tutorial videos. We also have the option to go into the preferences once inside the preferences, we've got the option to change the accent color. This is the color that we see above the buttons. We can also change the Photoshop theme from a dark to a light theme. And also in the preferences panel, we can choose whether we want to turn on or turn off automatic update checks for the panel. The plugin is extremely easy to use. It sits very nicely in the docking system of Photoshop and it's fully compatible with both the Mac and Windows operating system and that also includes the Mac M1 and M2 chipset. And it's now available to download from the Digital Black and White website. So until next time, thank you for watching and bye for now.